You see, I'm putting together a Swedish fjord skimmer for my nephew, Willy. It's his birthday. Now go away! <laughs> um, what's all that gooey stuff, Wally? Don't mess with it. This is super sticky, extra strength Swedish model glue. Hey, would you look at that fjord? There. <laughs> I don't see any. Hey, wait a minute. What are you up to, woodpecker? No good something, I can feel it in my bones. Now get out of here before I get mad. That Swedish nut job still got my nut. <laughs> Over the ocean and through the bay, I send you to Sweden for Willy's birthday today. Cover the eyes with patches of green, then open my walnut without being seen. Uh, what's going on here? I don't have time for your shenanigans, Woodpecker. I have to mail this to Sweden today. <laughs> Ah, uh, take it easy, Wally. I'll handle this. <laughs> Good as new, see? Oh, get out of here! Get off! You get off! What's the big idea? <laughs> now you've done it, Woodpecker! We're stuck together, but good. Oh no, I'm not staying stuck to you. Give me back my tusks! Eh, don't get your shorts in a bunch. I'll get us help. Ooh, ooh, I don't have time for this monkey business. I got to get that present mailed. Ooh. Hello, hardware store? Is there such a thing as super sticky, extra strength Swedish model glue unglue? Because I'm stuck to my neighbor! <laughs> You do have unglue? We'll be right there. <laughs> Wally, old buddy. We gotta head downtown to the hardware store. No, we go uptown to the post office. Downtown. Uptown. Downtown. Uptown. The hardware store's three blocks that way. They're going to the post office. Three blocks this way. Hardware store. Post office. Hardware store. Post office. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> <laughs>
Peanut butter got your tongue or something. Okay, I've seen enough of this freak show. No wait! If one package to Sweden, yeah? No! I'll repackage it with some packing peanuts. Just once I'd like a normal day. with your neighbor Rudy, yeah? Oh, 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 sticky! <laughs> oh, Chris, oh, Chris, how do I get started? Oh, oh, you stick to me! <laughs> oh, you woodpecker, look hey, what on, you've done now. Where's your birthday spirit? You're come ruined, Billy. Really Let's sing it. She'll have to settle for Wiener Wallies. Huh. I'll never eat at Wallies. He's the guy who put the worst in Bratwurst. Yuck. <sighs> I've got it. I'll buy your cart. Okay, but you know it's gonna cost you 500 bucks. 500 bucks? Hmm. Aha. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh -huh. <coughs> <coughs> Mm. Uh, mm hmm. Plenty of room. Wow, a heated pool. I'll take it. Hmm. What's this going on here? <sighs> I've forgotten more about selling Wieners than that woodpecker will ever know. Oh, yeah. I would like to buy a hot dog, please. Coming right up. That's one for you, and one for me. <laughs> okay, so that's just one customer. And that's one too many. Hey, mister, can I get a dog, please? That's one for you, and two for me. <laughs> Zwerg, that does it. <laughs> My corner, Bootpecker! You know, I get the distinct feeling someone doesn't want me around. Moo -doo 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 -doo. Come back soon. Yeah. Over here! Over here! I've got just one thing to say. That's my corner! <laughs> that should fix that woodpecker, you bet. <laughs> Why for you bury me, wiener boy? 
Guess who? <laughs> you want a vinivor? You got a vinivor, woodpecker! You'll never sell hot dogs on my corner, wiener boy! <laughs> <laughs> I've got you now. This is the best hot dog mix I've ever tasted! Oh, my aching meatball. You, you woodpecker, look what you've done! I get you! <laughs> boys, boys, break it up! With your new hot dog mix and my investment capital, we can make millions! Where do we sign? Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I'm the boss. Will, will I get my hands on you? You come no, here, you, you. I'm the boss, and I say no work today. Oh, boy. Woo! The tube steak terrorist, you won't ruin my chance to make millions. Ah, go on with you. Give me your best shot. Bet you can't hit me with hot dogs. Oh, yeah? Then take that, and that, and those, and those too, you bet. <laughs> <sighs> hey, if we're gonna be partners, you're gonna have to work faster than that, wiener boy. <laughs>
a woodpecker impersonating an officer, eh? <laughs> from limb. Hold on there. Where's your ticket, Sonny? I'm an officer of the law. You run along before I call a cop. Eat it, Junior, and take off that drink mustache. <laughs> Sun and fun, here I come. Woo -wee! What do you mean I'm not sick? <laughs> As your doctor, Miss Nini, I'm telling you, there's nothing wrong with you. Nothing a personality transplant couldn't cure. Any fool can see I'm sick and weak and near death's door. <laughs> I'm telling you for the last time, Ms. Meanie, you're not sick. It's all in your head. And you're a quack, Dr. Quack! I'm a poor, sick lady who needs... Sap, sap! What pecker! Get over here! <laughs> According to our rental agreement, you have to run errands and care for me whenever I'm sick. <laughs> or you're out on your tail feathers. Ah, fooey. You're not sick, Miss Meanie. I heard that doctor say it's all in your head. I am sick, I tell ya! <laughs> My skin's gone all saggy! I'm all run down! And that's only the beginning. Uh. 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 Uh.
first thing I need you to do is to go to the pharmacy. Give this to the pharmacist. It lists all my symptoms. He should be able to recommend something. Well, don't just lie there. Get hopping. Quick, I need something to cure all the symptoms in this book. Now you go back to that pharmacy and... No, please, don't make me go back there again. Hmm. Say, Miss Meanie, did I ever tell you I know lots of secret home remedies? What kind of home remedies? You name it, my family knew how to cure it. Back strain, neck pain, <laughs> even fixes for your ailing kitchen drain. Yes, sir, bottle length. I can cure halitosis, symbiosis, and even the occasional fungus that shows up in my toeses. You're probably right. No one's been able to help me yet, so if you can't, no one can. Let's get to it. Nothing's ever going to help her. I'm just going to have to get myself fired so as I can go to the beach. <laughs> I'm about to share with you a secret cure for back pain. Whoa! Perfection! Oh, it hurts! But it's a good hurt, Woodpecker. Oh, it's good! Maybe even my home treatments aren't gonna work. You should fire me right now, Miss Meanie. Oh. Woodpecker! My back! It's cured! It's a miracle! Whoopee! Yeah! What do you got for my saggy skin? <gasps> Nothing helps that saggy skin of yours like a good soak in an herbal bath. <sighs> now you add your sour cream and, uh, oh, canned yams are always good. Bam! Kosher pickles, oatmeal, poultry, fresh fruit, seafood. Thicken with flour. Add parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. And now to finish it off, a little splash of hot sauce. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yes! Oh, oh, oh. Simmer under cover until well done. Finally, the beach. <laughs> now that's what I call a skin toner. And thanks for lunch. <laughs> What's it gonna take to get fired around here? And now, a cure for your rundown constitution. This electromagnet is guaranteed to attract positive karma and repel negative ions. Oops. Maybe I got your energy flowing a bit too much, huh? <sighs> Hmm? What pecker? My ions feel better than they have in years. I'm cured, and you've done it all for me! I, I, I have? Er, you mean, I can go? It's a miracle, everybody! I tell you, I've never felt better in my life! Well, it looks like the doctor's ordering sun, sand, and surf for this woodpecker. <laughs> woodpecker! Miss Meanie told me you could cure the corns on my bunions, yeah? 
Hey, palsy, could you whip up something for my post-nasal depression? <laughs> Woody, you're way behind in your pecking. I'll be back later to check up on you. Now get pecking, pecking, pecking. Oh no, I'm 5,000 pickles behind. She'll demote me to a chigger this time for sure. Unless. This here is the Uber termite, genetically created in my lab for. Apparently, for efficiency and ferocity. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I call him Lester. What are you looking at, you red coated pig farmer? Oh boy, I'll take him. All right, Lester. Go on out there and put some holes in those trees before Mother Nature gets here. Tch, holes? Holes are for golfers and lose the woodpecking. <laughs> you had better start cooperating, mister, or else. No, not the smelly shoe! I only want holes in the trees, not whole tree gone. Oh, what are you, my father? If he keeps this up, I won't have a forest for Mother Nature to inspect. Uh-uh-uh. Here you go. This will help you make little teeny pecking holes. Like a woodpecker. Now the only sound I want to hear is this. Yes, sir. That little guy is going to make my life so easy. I said, little teeny pecks, like a woodpecker. Learn from the master. First, pick out a tasty spot. Next, aim. Then do what woodpeckers do a best. Junior's got a bad attitude. I can see I'm going to have to keep you on a short leash. A little peck, then move on. Now a peck of that tree. And take a peck of that one. A fight might a termite bite if a termite could not bite. Paint is just a ticket. I'll trick that termite out of here. Then I'll paint the forest back before Mother Nature even gets here. Nice job, Picasso, but the uh, where's your house? My what? Huh? What? Hmm. Why it's right over here. Thanks, big guy. Thank you. 
sold me is a, a monster. Now I need something that'll grow trees, fast. These vigor growth seeds should do the trick. Woodpecker's trees. Uh, he said then I did the holes, the trees with the doctor and the thing. Get home! Now! <laughs> 6,607, 6,608. Well, it looks like that little woodpecker finally did some work. But you, Mr. Mm -hmm. Termite? Why haven't you met your quota? I... No excuses! Start munching that bark, or I'll demote you to a chitter! Now! But I'm... Let's move it, move it, move it! I mean it, you loafer! Please, listen! Get busy! Wait, I'm not who you think! Let me explain! <laughs> from Smedley's Scrumptious Frozen Fish Dinners. Howdy, are you a hungry TV watcher? Let me show you how I fast freeze all that great taste into my frozen dinners. I use only the most modern freezing methods available to man a dog. This here is liquid nitrogen. Whatever y'all do, do not try this at home. Smedley's frozen fish dinners. Meanwhile, I'll search for a new freezing technique. That won't leave me broke. Debt seven thousand three hundred. Current cash zero. You owe money in seventeen states and the Antarctic is the perfect place to find the newest fast freezing techniques that will succeed where my latest ideas have failed. Hmm, I could have sworn I heard something. Huh? Now, I definitely don't remember that there windsock. Owning a frozen dinner franchise can be a mighty chilly business. People will stop at nothing to steal your fast freezing secrets. The ice here in the Antarctic is the most frigidest ice in the world. And cold contact is my newest freezing technique. These here ice blocks will quick freeze my dinners faster than a bug in a blizzard. <laughs> now hold on one ice picking minute here, small fry. delivery. Send this pest to the remotest corner of the world. 
Now, if I place my dinner right here, the frigid wind chill factor from this here fan will blow on it. Then, when the thermometer drops to here, my dinners will be frozen solid. chill factor from this here fan will make the mercury in that there thermometer drop faster than a bad chin tuck. Hmm, looks like I'll need more wind chill than I first thunk. Long underwear, here I come. Right there, you snowbound bamboozler. You got no right taking this here food before it's properly frozen, and no right taking it, period, question mark. Do I make myself clear as an ice cube? Oh, little feller, say. You really are a fan of Smedley's frozen fish dinners. 485 thousand dollars for Smedley's frozen fish dinners from the Igloo Emporium. 96 cents. You gotta understand, I'm just trying to find the best method to fast freeze all that tasty freshness into my frozen dinners. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Why, of course! Who would know better the secrets of fast freezing than a penguin? One for you. And one for me. One for you. And one for me. One for you. And one for me. Yep. Like my Uncle Fretz always used to say, you can lead a penguin into water, but it takes one smart dog to make him fish for you. Once upon a time, deep in a forest, a noble lion stood. 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 Stood, you dope. He was the king of beasts. not the storm, nor the lightning flash. I can take it. Ah, mighty king of the jungle. Oh! 
Give me that gun. Stick him up. Miss me. How to catch a mouse. How to catch a lion? Unless you had some snap, what are you gonna do? I got me a mouse. Yeah. 
or die for pearls. The local government won't let you keep anything you find. But it's just good, clean fun to hold your breath till your lungs almost burst and then get the vents from coming up too fast. The islands are a perfect place to return to your primal self. Explore... Stuff your belly, then sit back and let the UV rays saturate your brain. Get that golden brown tan you've always wanted. You'll be looking good and living life the tropical way. Still not hot enough? Same old meat substitute? Here's a tip. All you need to make this into a succulent meal is one ingredient. Finally, I can entertain some chums with a proper dinner party. And that secret ingredient is... Hmm, peculiar little character. <laughs> Finally uncovers the plot to sink Bowen Island. Diane, the madman behind all of this is. <laughs> that boy's more aggravating than a bad case of shingles. And this is how you hula. A wiki, 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 wiki. <laughs> Such a polite little fella. Hold on just an ice picking minute. <laughs> Looks like Christmas is coming early this year. Oh, ain't he as cute as a bug's ear? I'll just take him to his home and let him rest up. And now, our afternoon movie, Frigid Winter. Frigid Winter? That got a five ice cube rating. Sakes alive. They just don't make them winter pictures like they used to. Huh? Now this here is the flake that broke the snowman's back. This berg ain't big enough for the both of us, penguin. What's he waving for? That really shaves my eyes. Y'all catch my drift? The tropical and tropical, implementing White House pages. Tonight, we reveal the answer to one of life's greatest mysteries. Are we alone in the universe? Do UFOs exist? Professor Smith, do UFOs exist? As a gentleman, this shouldn't bother me. <laughs> That's the problem with penguin meat. It runs right through you.
It's almost time for the lotto drawing. And tonight's South Pole lotto is worth $40 billion. You could buy a lot of fun in the sun with that money. But this will be your only announcement. You snooze, you lose. 14, 22, 64, 93, 56, 71, and the final number is... The vacation getaway of a lifetime! Only one thing a grown dog can do at a time like this. <laughs> aboard my ship 20 years ago. Well, sir, we just made a big haul of bluefin tuna. Now, polar bears like fish, so do little penguins. The cradle will rock when the bell breaks. The cradle will fall, and I will come, baby, cradle and all. Oh, 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 oh. Rock a my baby on the tree top. As the wind blows, the cradle will rock when the bell breaks. The cradle will fall, and I will come, baby, cradle and all.
Well, that's the story of Rockabye Point. And to this day, 20 years later, you can still hear him singing. Listen. And down will come be and Sing it to me again, will you, Charlie? Alrighty. Oh, rock a baby in a treetop. What a great day for the grand old game. Ha! Easy hole. I'll be sinking my putt in jig time. Computer, select me a driver. A wood for Woody. Just the ticket. <laughs> Nutwink, Rudy, I'm going to go visit my friend Gertrude on the 15th green. Now don't get into any mischief while I'm gone. We will, Tom. Good boys. Service! to Rudolph Fun. Hmm, a golfer. Come on, I know a fun game. No, you don't. Now give me back my golf balls. You want them? You got them. Yes!
of my best work. <laughs> Mister? Yeah, no harm, no foul, right? Wrong! I thought I told you two to stay out of trouble! Whoa, we're sorry. Yeah, we're sorry. It was all a misunderstanding. Yeah, we, 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 we thought you were somebody else. So sorry. Not quite, boys. Now you're going to get what's coming to you. Hmm. Looks like a 300 yard straight into a left hook dog around the sand trap. What club do you recommend? <laughs> It's a wood for Woody. Now let's see you send that ball 300 yards. A hole in one! <laughs> <laughs> 